So, new defensive coordinator is working with you guys today with the safeties. What's your first impression? Uh, great. You know, we just all with Coach Adah, kind of get like something special as far as just the safeties only. It's very reactionary, which we need. That's going to happen in the game. So, we're loving it. And back to number five for you this year. Go back into that. <laughs> Everything, man. You know, at the West and Optimus, I had five. You know, um, my first two years at the West, I had 42. So it was kind of like 24, same thing. So after two years of having it, you know, even though All American and stuff like that, I felt like it's just right to have five, man. Does it have like a special significance or is it just yeah, a number I just you always, always had? had it, okay, right? yeah. It was always my favorite number. Had it since I was six. So it just feel great having it. That was your first number. Yes, okay. ma'am. I, I saw you, uh, you know, leading the drills kind of. and. Obviously, now you're uh, an upperclassman coming off an all American season. How important is it to you to kind of really be the leader for that unit this year? Um, we got to step up, you know. And if I got to lead the way, then that's what I got to do. It's simple. Cam, uh, Lance Kidry, could you just tell us what he's like, you know, in, in the locker room and the film room? <laughs> a fireball it just brings a lot of energy, and you love to see it, you know, keep everybody on their toes. Cam, what's the collective mindset that you and James Williams have heading into year three? Um, can't take a step backwards. You know, we had a good year. We just want to keep taking steps, park, progressing. That's just the main thing, taking the next step as a whole DB group. Are you guys kind of stepping up in that leadership role of the safety room? Of course. We were trying to do that last year, and we just kind of gradually get into it. But now it's, it's kind of on us because we are the older groups. And we're only juniors, but it is what it is. So we got to just do everything, lead the way, help the younger guys come on, and, and be great as a unit. Cam, what have been your, your first impressions of the, of the group of new freshmen who come in? Who come in? Uh, all of them dogs. They love working, like, especially Caleb. That's why I love Caleb. In fourth quarter, he calling me out in every drill. And shoot, I ain't back down, so they only made each other better. Uh, Mario talked about uh, culture being an important focus this spring. What what needs to be better than last year, culture-wise? Um, well, I wasn't here in spring. You know, I was kind of mm -hmm. dealing with injuries and stuff like that. But um, just from the season last year, we just got to be more of a team, you know, when we get down or something like that, of course, we, we ain't going to get down out there. But, of course, when it get hot and we all tired, we got to just know to stay together. It can't be arguing and stuff like that. Just stay as a team. Speaking about culture, Mario mentioned after the Pittsburgh game last year that you had a specific speech with the team. What has the team's mindset been since that moment going forward? Backing me up with everything. You kind of see, like, whoever wanted to be here, here. Whoever didn't want to be here, not here. So that's just the main thing. Anything else? Yeah. All right. Good one today, Cam. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, with, you know, the new OC, um, Coach Dawson, it's, it's great to have him as a new addition and, you know, getting to learn his type of offense and how his how the style of play is and all of us, you know, gelling together and just creating a powerful offense. It's basically like a, almost a whole new unit on the offensive line. Just what have been your first impressions of uh, Javion, Matt? Yeah. Uh, Francis, Samson, like everyone, basically. Yeah, they're phenomenal. I mean, they're great players. They're great talents and great new additions as well. And, you know, since I'm an older guy, I hate to view myself as that now. I mean, I've been here like, going on my fourth year here, but I got to be that leader. Me, Matt, and even Coop got to, like, bring them up and bring them along. So it was great to have an addition and, you know, bring in that um, type of new people and, you know, learn, tell them, to, you know, tell them more about the culture and help them learn that. How, uh, how different is... It going to be for the offensive linemen in this new offense. Obviously, same O line coach Mario. I know is involved, but how much is are things changing for you guys? Um, nothing's really changing. You know, we're all you know going around playing different positions. I mean, this spring, you know how we do every year. We play different positions. I'm at left tackle. You might see me next week at a different position. You might see somebody else maneuvering around. So you know, all about you know gelling together and working together for a common goal. You mm -hmm. like seeing cool. uh, the. You meant, uh, Adam mentioned a bunch of new offensive linemen. It seemed like that was a big focus for Mario in the offseason was to just build that position up, get bigger. Um, what When he was doing that and, you know, you get new center, you get JV on, just from Alabama, just what was kind of like your reaction to all that? I mean, you know, it's, it's a business. I mean, you know, as new people come in, you just got to learn and adapt, and, you know, get to know them and, you know, because it's just another day, a new year. So, you know, you know, we got to we gotta go, we got to push forward. So we're not – thinking about last year, thinking about who left. We're just thinking about who's coming in and how we're going to progress from there. How nice is it to see Tyler back? Oh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're great. You're great. It's, you know, he's still, you know, working there. Like everybody's working, you know, to get healthier and all that stuff. But it's good to see him out there healthy. What's the uh, chemistry of the offensive line right now? Because it is new. And how do you kind of develop that as the season goes along? I mean, 
our folks focus focus when they came here was to learn them like you know hey like how are you doing like introduce each other get to know each other and you know we all go out and do stuff <coughs> as an old line so we got to do that quick and hurry i mean quick and fast because you know spring is right you know the season's coming up quick so we got to do that right away so i mean it wasn't you know it didn't take long for us to really and then some of the freshmen knew each other too so and they just came in just ready to work and, you know they ready to hone their skills even more so hey. what excites you about this offense i know air raid when you think of air raid it's over super happy you know all that stuff. what excites the offensive line about offense like this i mean i mean it's quick and fast you know we're huddling but we're going fast too so you know we're using our big bodies too to move people around do a different type of scheme so it's great to have that offensive style there too. has your body changed at all and since like you know since yes. last season so, what are, whoops sorry <laughs> yeah, what are you now? What, like, what so you I'm at the same, I'm, I'm in between 325, 330, but I've lost 5% body fat. So um, wow. I'm at 22, I came in like 26, something like that. So, you know, I'm just trying to get leaner and be, put on more muscle. So, you know, that's my main focus. And I think I'm right at my goal and, you know, just got to stay at that and maintain it and get even stronger as well. Jalen, this come from the whole most productive freshman last year. Just how have you seen him grow now into your second year? So, you know, Coop, he's a big guy. Um, when he came in, you know, switching spots, you know, he wasn't ready for that. He was a hunter, but he had to get used to it. He had to adapt into that role and learn from that. And then I think this year, he's getting the hang of it. He got that experience last year. Now he's got to grow into that role as a leader. So, you know, the new guys are here. You know, he got to, he knows about everything now. So I think he's going to be a great player, a great leader for this team, a great leader for this offense. So, uh, you seen him take strides already as a leader? Yes. So, I mean, we, we, we told him, you know, when people were leaving, he's like, how did you go leave him? But, you know, we got to move forward. And then he knows about our culture and what we're trying to get to. So he's got to take that next step and get out, get out of his comfort zone, same as me. So I think he's going great. You mentioned yeah. uh, Francis and Samson a little bit. Can you just kind of give us your big picture kind of thoughts on, on what those two have shown? Obviously, just one practice, but workouts, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, they came in. They came in as big recruit guys, so you know how expectations them, but of them. But when they come in, it's like, okay, this is college, this is not high school. So we gotta, you know, keep that same energy, like moving forward. Like, hey, this is we're we're here to work. So I mean, they came to work. Is they're not lack lack of days ago. They came in, you know, they're trying to listen to us. They're learning from us, and I think they're gonna be great. Hey, Gina, Let's do a was, couple more for you. What was the atmosphere like, just generally today? You know, how fun was it to be out there? What, what was it like? I think every first practice, first everything for especially this first spring practice everybody's amped up excited and you know we're trying to move forward and you know better ourselves from last year so we all this whole off season our winter program was to come in in spring and this is a new energy new positive team we're all building to get to our common goal so i think this first day everybody was just amped up and happy to be out here what does five guys right, think question. what does five guys think when they see the whole miami Offensive line walk in. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you see us, it's all oh, them big guys, you know. But we're gonna work, and you know, we're gonna prove like, hey, these big guys. We're not only big, but we can move, and we can do. We can all adapt to different positions as well. So I think we're very versatile, and we're, we can move guys. You know, you look at us, we can move people. All right. Thanks, Jalen. Thank, 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 Thank you. We don't How think you doing, you're old, man? by the way. <laughs> I think this is like to be back out there. Uh, man, it feels good, man. You know, just in and off last season, but a uh, pretty rough season, just. Feel good to have another opportunity, another chance to get it right. You know. What's the what's the noticeable difference? I guess with Coach Dickey, what's he like just to have in the locker room? He's a high energy guy. From his yes, team. sir. Um, Coach Dickey is an awesome guy. You know, uh, just him bringing in his defense and us learning it. You know, we love the defense. Um, so we're just looking forward to executing it, and making plays. Schematically, is it is it different from what you guys did last year in terms of you know? philosophy and we talk about that a bit? Um, it's different, but uh, we're going to leave the pass in the pass and uh, just focus more on uh, the new defense and, you know, just executing the play like I said. How's Coach Nicholson been? Uh, uh, coach Nicholson is a great coach. Um, he's a hype man. He gets you ready to practice, gets you ready to play. I'm um, just looking forward to spending the season with him. How's the, how is your, I'm sorry, how has your body changed, Wesley, from last, compared to last season? What are you now? Um, right now, right now I'm around 215, 216. Um, by the season, I'm looking forward to get to around 220, 225. How tall are you? I'm um, 6'2". You know, this, this point last year, you know, you just got into campus and stuff. Uh, just, what's the biggest thing you learned in your first year at Miami? Um, the biggest thing, you know, just just be patient with yourself. You know, uh, it's going to come. Uh, just take your time with it. And it's all, it's going to all fall in place. Mario said the culture is a big focus in your, yeah, just like what, um, 
did he kind of verbalize what he, what he wants to see differently this year than last year? Just what what, what needs to be different, I guess. Um, I, this year, uh, where the focus is more on you know each other, uh, just the players coming together, uniting, so we can all play as one. We going on field. Wesley reunited with Ruben Bain. Just how is it that to be on the field with him once again? And what, do you, what does he bring to the defense? Uh, Ruben the dog. You know, so I'm just happy to have him with me again, uh, right in front of me, just helping me make plays. How are these players more together this year than last? Because he wasn't happy with the culture. I know he was talking about. Uh, you know, we got a new players added to the roster. Um, like I said, uh, we just becoming more of a brotherhood, going out, team events. Just happy to be here. Was uh, Robbie and Malik? I mean, Bobby and Malik coming to that linebacker. What have been your impression of the two freshmen? Um, you said the pressure? Yeah. What do you mean impression of the two freshmen? Oh, Bobby, oh, Bobby and Malik, uh, you know, those are my guys already, you know. Uh, spending every day with them, you know, they ask me a question, I help them out, you feel me? So just being a, more of a leader to them, that's really good. Well, see, what aspects of your game are you looking at practice? Um, my aspects of my game, uh, you know, right now I'm learning two positions. So right now I'm just trying to have a balance on both of them. So when coach needs me at one position, I'll be able to execute and make sure better. Is that just inside, outside? Like you learn in the whole? Uh, Sam and yeah. Will. Yeah. Sam and Will, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else for Wesley? Uh, Any differences that you've possibly seen early on, just what's asked of the linebackers from the past defense and now? Uh, right now, you know, the linebackers are more in coverage. Uh, we were able to do more. Um, that's really it. It seems like last year, uh, Cam kind of grew into more of a leader toward you know, the season went on. How um, have you seen that kind of grow over the course of, you know, off season? Um, Cam is a great leader. Um, even in our workouts, you know, he causes jump jacks. Uh, he makes sure we're focused, we're locked in. So that's what I like about Cam. How about Corey Flagg? How is he doing? How has he progressed? What's his situation? Corey Flagg, um, he's, you know, he had a foot injury. But uh, right now he's recovering. Um, he's still a leader. He helps, still helps me out with the plays if I need help. So, yeah. Great. Thank you very much. Thank Thank you. You. Thanks, Wes. Thanks. 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 Thank you.